Awesome costume contest. Yeah. It's just about to start, but not quite yet. They're just getting lined up back there. We've got our great host. We got MCs. We're gonna have a great time all the way around. The costumes are amazing. I was asked to remind folks that after the costume contest, once this is done, the cosplay dance party will be uh, kicking in over in the lobby. That's the uh, 1500 room. Yeah, the 1500 room. Uh, the entire lobby of the convention center is going to be have DJ dancing theme drinks, and generally a good old time. It is a fundraiser for the Hero Initiative, so if you want to get your groove on after the show is done, applause for the video, yay! <laughs> Cosplay tonight, but there's only one dude that I want to look like. He beats Jason, Darth Vader, Nike from Game of Thrones. Obviously, his name is Indiana Jones. Dr. Jones is what his students call him, and L-O-V-E is what his latest students fallen in. He teaches archaeology, but on the weekend, Indiana gets crazy back at Seekin. But getting yard sales, but getting thrift stores. He gets his antique straight from the source, from the Temple of Doom, or a jungle cave. And TV got him so excited, he begins to shave. Oh, he'll beat a labyrinth booty trap. And a voodoo curse And take your antiques and put them in some man purse But if you challenge any to an antique race You're more than likely end up with a melted face With Kraken, just a pack in He's a huge fan of mid fight napping Pick balling, close calling His favorite sport is a street dodge balling Women want his bad day Nazis want his bones Everybody's chosen for Indiana Jones Out to jack at every ancient artifact in town, Indy likes to suit up and party down. Get tipsy, bust a move on the flow. Punch a waitress in the face and shish kebab a bro. Oh, he's a full blend of brains and bravery. And he's strongly opposed to child slavery. His best friend is an Asian lad. And did I mention that James Bond is his dad? What happens when you pair these bad asses together? You get the most adorable biker gang ever. Jousting Nazis and busting loose. Working up a thirst for that holy grail juice. Sending every Nazi into the grave. Well, unless the Nazi is an Aryan babe. Cause when it comes to Nazi hotties, Eddie will date him. But when it comes to snakes, he'll take a hit, but never quit. He's got no time to sort of fight bullshit. Jungle running, flame jumping, but he's always got time for snakes on Adam Moses, 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 Adam
With a background as a martial artist, photographer, and charity work, costuming just isn't about the costumes. It's about the memories that are made while wearing them. Keith's credits cosplay or costuming for the old school for helping him meet and create lasting relationships across the globe. Let's give him a round of applause for being here. You all from California. Good evening, everybody. Hey, say it with me. Hail to the Queens! <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how good they look, right? Who do you, who do you think looks better, though? Who do you, who do you think? Who do you, who do you think? That's, uh, let's see. Round of applause for Keith. Yeah. Round of applause for Abby.
updated the competition to, uh, for a format to reflect larger cosplay competitions across the country. So contestants are not only able to participate in their experience class, but also have a craftsmanship quality, which I all know you guys love seeing that craftsmanship. So we have needlework, then that's for costumes pre created predominantly by sewing, embroidery, fabric craft, or leatherwork. Foam work, for costumes created predominantly from foam products or foam manipulation. Non-traditional, for cosplays that feature anything from animatronics, prosthetics, special effects, plastic, latex, and etc. And then we have the group, which is any group of three or more people who are working together in a themed format. They can be of any experience level. And you can, again, also enter on your experience class. So you have the order of stage performance, which is, you know, first novice class for first time and casual cosplayers. Second, journeyman class for more experienced cosplayers. Third, master class for our ambitious builders, former winners, and semi-professionals. And then fourth is group category. All right. Now uh, let's give uh, some thanks out. We have to thank Mr. Dennis Butt of Butthead Studios for the awesome looking custom trophies which will forever be referred to as the Planet Trophy. Who's taking home plan tonight? We'll find out. And a huge thank you to Casatino's Downtown Market for the generous support of this year's cosplay contest. Be sure to check them out while you are here in downtown, downtown KC. And uh, thanks to Letha LaGuardia of US Toy and Magic and Costume Shop for providing generous gift cards for our winners as well. And also, Escape KC. And they are our sponsors, and they are all awesome, so we are very appreciative for them. So, uh, right now, are we ready to go? Have they already told you guys about the bar? Because uh, I don't know about anybody else, but cold beer. Cold beer. Yeah. There's cold beer. Cold I'm beer. sure other drinks, but there's open bar. Only open if you're not open bar. You have to behave this time. Yeah. You don't need any like shenanigans. That's what you say all the time. You don't need any shenanigans. All right. Okay. Let's see. We ready to start this? Let's do this. Let's do it. All right. I'd like for the awkwardness, but Keith and I only have one hand, and yeah. All those, all those together, we have. Oh, everybody. Oh. All right. Here we go. That was so, so great. Here we go. All right. First contestants. Name, Erebon, the source is the last Jedi, and the character is Rey. There she is. The diamond cleats on her tunic took a lot of time and work. She's got the force, she's not afraid to use it. Thank you very much, Erebon, round of applause. Let's introduce. Is she the last Jedi? I'm just kind of curious. A spoiler, spoiler alert. alert, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I assume everyone can see anything. That's I one strike against the beer. That's is. one strike. Uh, you guys help me keep track tonight, right? Because my brain is... Right okay, let's introduce Erica North, whose character is Lucian. Oh, wait, it's a Pokemon. Okay, got it. I can... So, Erica North, who's cosplaying Lucian from Pokemon, and she's most proud of the she made. It's an invisible Pokemon. Woo! There we go. I'll take a spin. Take a spin for the good people. About now, we need a Pokeball. <laughs> she cannot be caught. Okay. Up next, Rachel Nagy is the character Mira from DC Bombshell Collection. The, the costume part she's most proud of, the pants. It took three tries to get them right. There we go. Mera, there we go, Mera. Occupants, queen. There we go. Excellent work, excellent work. All right, next up we have Alyssa Sparks as Barbara Gordon, a fat girl. And uh, well, her favorite parts are very large tape. A lot of sewing. That girl, that girl, that girl. I just oh. realized I totally gave away her alias. Yeah, you totally did. Not supposed to do that. Breaking the rules. Okay, up next we have Sarah Gagnon, 
with the character of Lady Loki. And that is needlework, ladies and gentlemen. Loki, Loki, DJ of Asgard, the part of the costume she's most proud of, the hand embroidery on the coat and the pants, the people can look. Yes. She has the magic staff of destiny, and she is ready to rock. Loki, Ragnarok. Thank you. Luck be a lady, Loki. you
Okay, up next we have Bryce Korf as everyone's favorite new Star Wars character, the Porg. Oh yes, we're talking Porgs, ladies and gentlemen. contain Abby. And the part of the costume they're most proud of is the shape of the costume, which we are waiting to see. It's and it's, it's a, there's a reason why it's taking a little bit of time. Watch the light be go. Oh, there we go. Leather patches, the hood, actually all of it. 
That is awesome. He's ready for battle. Legitimately. You cannot touch those shits. Those shits are bulletproof. And his forearm. Ready? Nice work. Excellent work. Clint House and Lily John Johnny 
tonight as a dark magician and dark magician girl from Yu-Gi-Oh! and their most proud of Staff and the Hellman. Master 
cheek class is what we call it. Oh, don't do that to me. That's so nice. Oh, my God. <gasps> All right. Oh, wait. We have, it uh, looks like Chase Brown and Erica Perret and uh, Ava Lopez. Help me out there. Oh, that's not Wire Hunter. Yes. From the Highlander Pro. We got the mask and cape being Eric's favorite. And Trevor's choice. Come on. 
Right, that poses. 